I know things you never see. You never see someone taking a shit while running at full speed. Come on, Key, get rid of some of them turds in the shit box. Welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast with me, Rab himself. All right, well, welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast. <laughs> My guest today is Felissa Rose. You probably know her from Sleepaway Camp, um, let's see, uh, Camp Dread, and uh, what is it, uh, Dahmer vs. Gacy. Oh, Gacy. There's, I mean, yeah. I was looking at it, there's over 100 movies. So, uh, so <laughs> you probably know her from one of the 100, <laughs> the 100 plus that she's done. And uh, her and I have been friends for a real long time. Okay. Uh, we were actually roommates at one point, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, a lot of good stories. Yeah, so I thought it would be cool to kind of sit down and chat with you just about um, life and also like your career path and and uh, you know what you've kind of accomplished in in the world of acting in the world of momhood because I'm here and there's kids running around everywhere and it's like a zoo. <laughs> animals. Kids. It's fun, man. It's cool and and it's really cool. I think for me to see because like I watch the kids grow, but I see them from time to time. I don't get to see them every day. So then you see them, you're like, oh my god, every like they're all so grown up and. It's crazy. It's wild to think but how fast it goes. You, we actually lived together when my my oldest daughter, who's now a teenager, was like three weeks old. Yeah, how I I, I crashed your life. I crashed <laughs> your, your it was world the there. Thing. And we had a lot yeah. of fun because remember we used to go to like the sportsman's lodge. Oh yeah, and, I know. Like, we'd have lunch and bring her in the car. <laughs> yeah, it was funny because um, yeah, I ended up just on a whim sort of moved out to California. Uh, I had I had bought a townhouse back east and just moved out, just left mm -hmm. and left with no clothes, nothing and ended up talking to you and Darren and saying, hey, I need somewhere to live. And you're like, oh, well, we have an extra room. Why don't you move in here till you like find somewhere? And I ended up being there for much longer than that. But uh, I got there and had no clothes and had the, I don't remember that. Yeah, so. Did you go, I know you also wanted to test out California, so it was yeah. kind of like perfect. Yeah. But did you go home to get the clothes and everything? No. I went to I went to Planet Earth, which was a sponsor at the oh. time from Viva La Bam yeah, and yeah. for uh, for CKY stuff. And I went down there and just got this whole box of clothes, and they gave me all the new clothes. And then I went to Audio and got shoes. And then I came set. back up and I was set. <laughs> and that was it because I was not planning to go back there. Oh and I was like, I'm just going to do this. And you bought a bed. Yeah. Because we had like yeah. horrible futon. Yeah. And I slept on that for a little oh. while and broke my back. And then, no, but uh, but you, you just did. welcomed me into your home in the middle of just having a baby, which seems insane to me that like, especially, you know, the way it, it was just a wild life. I mean, at that point, you know, I like, we were yeah. all like that though. And and you probably don't realize how much greatness you brought to me because when you have a baby, there is a lot of emotional stuff and hormonal stuff. And it was kind of like, I felt a little alone. I hadn't been out in California myself that long. Yeah. So having you was like, oh, you were such a great support system. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I was going to talk. We were talking about <laughs> Drunk Uncle Chris. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk Chris. No, because I, I remember because it was like her first birthday. And, and it was funny because yeah. so you're first time mom at that point. Um, now you have three kids, but first time mom at that point, and it was, it was so fun to be a part of that, you know, and kind of just uh, get to witness that. And and uh, I remember you, you know, you were like first time mom, so you were like nervous about certain things, and and you'd be like, huh, Chris, do you think like maybe I could take a shower? Would you watch her first thing? And I'm like. Ew, like how long's it been since you got a shower? You know, like thinking like, get in there. This is sick. Yes, I'll watch her, you know. But it was like, because Darren was touring a, a, a ton. He was never home. Yeah, and and uh, and then I was, you know, there and I was like, absolutely, I, you know, I'll watch her. And, and just kind of for me being able to witness what it takes to be a mom, it, it, was, it was awesome to be a part of that. And then it was kind of like eye-opening to see wow you know like you literally it's like every bit of you is occupied and you're like taking a shower was like a big deal it and was. you were like oh this is like the greatest thing ever i get to take a shower do yeah. you remember i got tendinitis in my arm because i carried her so much yeah. i remember 
<laughs> just like, stuck. Yes, I gotta go to the doctor. I can't move my arm. She didn't walk until she was a year and a half. Yeah, I, I understand <laughs> why. You're like this, this little baby. Well, and I remember because you would you would sleep with her in the bed, and yes. people go, "Oh, you shouldn't do this." And 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 I and I think about it. It's funny because my sister just had a baby girl, and <gasps> and uh, yeah, that. yeah, and so. But it's funny because there'll be the times where, like, you know, I was talking to her about it and, and how it's like everybody wants to give the opinion. Now, you should do it this way. Yeah. You should do it that yeah. way. And it's like, you know what? How about the mom probably has the right instincts to do it's what she needs to do? It's all in your – I didn't even right. know if I'd breastfeed and then I, like, yeah. breastfed them till I quit last week. Right. And then there's every <laughs> – yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your, your youngest kid is nine. <laughs> yeah. Just hanging off there. He was three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, that's pretty sad. <laughs> but, hey, you know what? Like, everybody oh, yeah. has that – that different yeah. path and, right. and they understand what it is to be a mom and for each is different and I think it's just it's funny because everybody wants to give advice but really it's like you know what just, take it with a grain of salt because it, yeah it has to just come from your heart yeah it's all it's all it's all there if you yeah. just listen and go if yeah you well I was thinking about how the name Drunkle Chris came about because um <laughs> I I Bia you that. Bia it's Bianca's so first birthday was literally like the greatest birthday party <laughs> in the history of the world. And and I'm thinking to myself, like, she, she's not gonna remember any of this, but no. but Felissa was gonna remember it. And it was like it was like that bounce thing, like that you, like, you made it like a carnival. Yeah, yeah. it was literally a we carnival. Got the bounce thing, the bouncy house, the yeah. caricaturist, yeah, the, the dunk tank, the dunk, the like uh, <laughs> the, the, oh. the whole. I mean, the whole entire yard, the everything candy. was like. Was was like going to the circus. It, we tried to do that. Yeah, time. and uh, and I might have had a few too many. <laughs> all of us. Uh, yeah, 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 all of us. yeah, yeah. We, yeah. All, we had Uncle Dave, Uncle Larry, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the yeah. uncles. And somehow I got so drunk, I somehow I fell out of something and oh, broke my toe, like that's on the. Right. I think it on, was the. I think it was the, the dunk, dunk tank. tank or something and it broke my toe and I'm hobbling around and then I couldn't get into my room for some reason and I well, I can't remember because I was oh really God. drunk but I knocked the window out of the room and I like, crawled into the room and I'm sleeping on oh. the bed like on top of the screen that was already Stop. busted out yeah and then I just remember being there and like like Dave Mosca yeah. and, and Aaron reaching through the window and like smacking me on my face like get up Drunkle oh. Drunkle Chris and like and then oh. they're just like smacking me in the face because they're like we're, I was Uncle Chris for about until about yeah, an hour before that, that then it was Drunkle Chris because I was so drunk I broke my toe I knocked all the window out of the thing I'm sleeping in, like it wrapped around in you this fell into screen the house. yeah I fell, into, fell the house, into the house and then passed out <laughs> and they're like smacking me like from the window and I could see them like what? I was like, what the hell? Get, get out of here. And they're like, dude, you just like knocked the window in and fell asleep on it. <laughs> and like, and so, so Drunkle Chris was oh, born. Drunkle and that was Chris it. was born. <laughs> we had so many good times. Yeah. In that house. It was funny. That I mean, it was like the fun house. Another good story I love to embarrass your oldest daughter, Bianca. Oh, and with. she loves this. She's uh, yeah. so excited that we're going to talk about it. I told her we might talk about yeah, it. Yeah. So, time. so, okay. For, like, you guys had, I mean, you were, you know, just full-time mom at this Wrapped point. Wrapped around that baby. Darren was out on the road, touring so much. He finally gets back from tour, and it was like, you guys hadn't had a date night in all this time. You you needed time together. Mm -hmm. And I know, like, you were, like, a little nervous. Like, oh, I haven't really gone out. I'm leaving my baby. I left her. And, yeah, and, and it was like, oh, my gosh. And But, you you know, you needed a night out with, with your husband. And... It was my brother, me, and Aaron. Aaron is, is Darren's, Darren's little brother. So his her actual uncle Aaron, and then the honorary uncles, uh, me and Jay and Uncle Jay and Drunkle Chris. Yeah, Drunkle Chris. <laughs> and it's like, literally, you were like, okay, well, I'll leave you with them. So it was like three men and a baby. I was, I was so <laughs> nervous. It was like, but, but Tom Selleck like... was nowhere around. <laughs> It was three men and the baby, and, the baby. And, we're, uh, and we're sitting in the, in the place, and, and, like, I'm just trying to get you to go out and, like, not worry about it and just be like, okay, just have a good time. Just I remember have a good my time. hesitation. I yeah. was like, there is no way in fucking hell I'm leaving this <laughs> precious little baby girl with these three maniacs. Yeah. yeah, oh, I know, because, I mean, I wasn't exactly the uh, model, <laughs> you know, type of parent at that point. I wasn't a parent, but, I mean, I wasn't someone you'd leave your kid with. But Think about that was, like, 
14, 13 years ago. Yeah. 14 years ago. And you, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I was a little yeah. wild. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and all of us were, but I mean, I'm, I'm like kind of shoving you out the door. Like, just go have a good time. Don't worry about it. Just have a good time. And you're like, okay. And you leave, you literally, you get in the car and start to pull away. And as you pull away, Bianca has a shit <laughs> blowout, just shits out of her diaper. It explodes out of her diaper all the way off her back. There's poop like everywhere, like immediately like shit all over everything. And I was like, what the hell? Like, cause I've never seen something like that. And it's so um, yeah. With yeah, you. yeah, yeah, exactly. That uh, just shit attracts to me. So it's just poop everywhere. I'm like, what? Like there's a diaper on. How did there get to be and shit? They do. They oh, yeah. Do yeah. yeah. I don't know why, but it goes up the back. There's shit all over her back on her neck. I'm like, hey, ew, like how did it get everywhere? So it's poop everywhere. And I grab her and I'm like going to I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take her into the tub or like start to try to maybe put her Where in the sink. The other two put her in the sink and I'm gonna spray her down. They're like, oh, you're on your own, you know? Like they're over there like playing video games or something, and I'm I'm sitting there with this shitty little kid and Right then the phone rings and Felissa might have been like 35 <laughs> seconds out of the house. And the phone rings like, has everything okay? And I'm like, and as I'm doing it, I'm like walking her back to the, like to spray her down in the sink. And I look, I go into the kitchen where, and there was like the washer and dryer where in that back kitchen area. And the washer and dryer somehow overflowed. The, the washer overflows. The water's pouring out of the washer all onto the kitchen floor. There's soap suds all over everything. I've got the shitty ass kid in my <laughs> arm. Shitty and then there's this like poop all over my arm. Like I can smell it. I'm like tr about to throw up. And no, and you're on the phone like, is everything okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's great. You know, like just enjoy your dinner. Just, and I'm like getting annoyed. Cause I'm like, just, just like, just leave me alone. You know, just, just go like, and enjoy your dinner. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. just enjoy this date night Damn while you. I suffer right now. There's this shitty kid and this overflow of soap suds That's all over. I don't want to do this. Yeah. Just get back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really like, God damn it, did you have to go out tonight? Oh, my God. But, uh, it was the shit night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, so what I did is I, I peel off the clothes and I don't know what to do. I'm like, do you save clothes that are covered in shit like this? So I just threw oh, them out my. and then I get her in the tub and I took that little spray thing, yeah. spray her all down, spray Is the she shit. she screaming, crying? No, she was just mellow. She was like looking yeah, at me. Yeah, just like, just staring up at <laughs> me like, like, yeah. <laughs> like, Isn't this funny? <laughs> hey, hey you're, you're the shit king, so you should know what to do with this. <laughs> like, yeah, Drunkle, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drunkle, Drunkle Chris, he, he loves poop. Oh my so God. I sprayed her down, got her all cleaned up, and then put her in these new clothes. Okay. And, and then, I had, then I was trying to get her to fall asleep. And then it was like, all right, now I got to work on cleaning up this whole kitchen. Because oh. the whole kitchen was completely like flooded. I do have yeah. Tweedledee and Tweedledum yeah. playing video games. They They're over there that. playing video games like, oh, whatever, you're on your own. Oh and my gosh. it was because it was like, Chris, you agreed yeah, to, you agreed do, to this. do this. Yeah. yeah, so then I was like, all right, I guess I'm doing this. So that was like my my welcome into what it's like to have a little baby. Welcome, yeah. and I will do it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I don't think I knew about it for like years. Right? No, because I didn't want you didn't to know. Didn't I come home and say, how was everything? You were like, oh, she's asleep or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> this is great. I'll do this again. Yeah, exactly. Because I knew that like that was your first night out. It and was. if And if it was like, oh my God, it like, it, it, right. If you knew like everything went to shit the second you Literally. drove away, <laughs> then you would like be hesitant about ever wanting to have a life. Yeah. You know, you'd be like, oh, I need to Aww, do this. And it was like, so, so my idea was like, just keep that really quiet. Sweet. And uh, yeah, and, and she's tell sleeping, about the you know. Shit and, storm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then when, it, when the time was right, <laughs> we brought it out. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> my Right, yeah. Little, now yeah. Like, now she's like six feet tall. And, yeah. Yeah. I know. And now she's a grown, yeah, grown yeah. person. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's so nutty. It is wild. Time go? Yeah. And then your second one, uh, Lola, you, you, you 
just had given birth and you yeah. came over and did the hot dog casserole little uh, do you remember short that? movie with us. Yeah. I came. She was she like, was like, do you yeah. remember she screamed crying <laughs> like at the last scene? Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> she's she's over it. She's she had enough. Was, I think that was September and she's born in March. Yeah. She it was she was like six months old. Yeah. And she's in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. she's in that little bit. Little that, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that was funny, and I mean, and that kind of brings us into just like the acting world and and everything that you've done. Like I, I, I was thinking, you know, obviously Sleepaway Camp, um, that is something that is forever a hit and something you'll always be known for. Um, you did that. I don't know where you were thirteen. Yeah, nineteen eighty two. Yeah, so 13 years old at that point, you know, young and doing that. And that's something that, like, for the rest of your life, you'll be known as Angela from The Chick Sleepaway. with the Dick. Yeah, yeah, The Chick with the Dick. Yeah, I will forever. <laughs> and I accept it. I love it. It was funny because I knew you before I knew you because I knew that movie. Well, did you ever watch Sleepaway Camp with Darren? Um. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Didn't I have. Make but everybody watch. Yes, it? I've watched a million horror movies with with Darren, because and he... yeah, and but I watched Sleepaway Camp for the first time when when I was a kid, like with friends, and oh, wow. remember seeing that part, and and like I mean, it, like Sleepaway Camp was a huge thing, and all of the because the installments that ending was just so crazy. Yeah. Like who yeah. in 1982 was so provocative? Like you yeah. never saw a movie that right. I know. You can't make that kind of a movie today. Yeah. In the eighties we were so kind of carefree and Yeah. And I always remember the lawnmower with the head like that. Yes, I think that's part two. two. Yeah. 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 And uh those yeah. are great. Those and are that those things in my head, like when I was, cause I was young, yeah. you know, when I saw it, it you made it in 82, but I saw it probably eighty eight. Sure. Yeah, I was probably eight or nine years old when I saw it. And it was like scary as shit and it was something that gave me nightmares and then all these years later i'm friends with with the girl that yeah. was in it and and it was just kind of amazing to see that but i wanted to hear a little bit about like the process of becoming an actress and how that all kind of took place because you, you grew up in new york yeah. city and and uh yeah i was born and raised there and i think it was really i mean i you know, I just, I was like every other little girl wanted to sing and dance and, and yeah. uh, kind of lived in my local dancing school. And a lot of the local girls were going on real auditions in Manhattan. You know, yeah. it's like LA, New York, you kind of get to do that. And I found a manager. My mom helped me find a manager. I wanted to do it then for real. And she introduced us. And my first audition, my real one was Sleepaway Camp. Like and you got first. it? And I got it. Wow. So they were like looking for just a brunette girl with like a flat chest and big eyes. And I remember hitting it off with Robert Hiltzik, the director. We just became like instant friends. And I really liked him. He seemed like such a a kind person. Little did I know what was going on in his brain. <laughs> his demented brain, his yeah. His demented brain. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was that at like a commercial. And I and I got Sleepaway Camp and I, it was, you know, it was like going to camp. Yeah. And, that, and that's so fun. Like, um... I came and visited you, I think, on Camp Dread, or what, what was it? No, on Camp Dread. Yeah, yeah. Harrison and Smith's movie. That's yeah. right. And that was like a, it was like a oh going to gosh, camp. Oh my gosh, that situation. was another camp yeah. movie that was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, yeah, Harrison did a great job with that. And that, and that's cool. So it's funny because Sleepaway Camp. I mean, that changed your life at that oh, point. I mean, it's, you know, it's still changing my life. Yeah, like it's the little movie that just doesn't go away, and I don't want it to because it. You know, my husband is here because of it, and my yeah. kids, and my career. It's all because of Sleepaway Camp. Wait, so explain the husband part, because he was like a big fan, and then all of a sudden he, he marries. Me the fuck alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the and real he's version. He always like emailing me, you know, uh -huh. and he would go to the website and always try to like find me and talk to me and invite me to so many shows, and I was like. All right, kid, settle down. <laughs> hey, yeah. listen, kid. All right, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, and then he, I, when we were doing Return to Sleepaway Camp 15 years ago, I told Robert, hey, you know, I know that band, you know, that, that CKY band. They're really cool. He's like, oh, have them up. I'll put them in a cameo. And they got on a red eye. The oh, cool wow. Band, and yeah. they're 
Darren was sleeping. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> he likes to sleep. I was like, I bet the whole band. I'm like, well, where's the one guy who I'm supposed to meet? And they're like, well, he's sleeping in one of the bunks. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then I met him that day. And that day I said to him, you want to conquer the world with me? And he was like, okay. And I moved into that house like yeah. three weeks later. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it was quick. Right? That's awesome. Well, I mean, it is, I feel like when you know, you know, because that's the same story with my wife and I. We had known our, known each other our whole lives, that's crazy. and then uh, been friends and all that stuff. And then we uh-uh. we just got together to catch up, and right away I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna marry this girl. Is you know, crazy? and you just know it. Like You're after fine. all that time, it's like, oh yeah. They walk that's into obvious. your. Your it's timing. The You're ones ready. that you are questioning and all that stuff, oh. it's just not it. And then that not one, you right. just go, yep. There yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> it fits, it works, and it makes sense. And uh, and that's so and that's so funny, and that's so cool. Because I always know like Dave Mosca and, and, and Darren always talking about like, isn't it crazy that you married Angela from Sleepaway <laughs> Camp? Like I know Dave yeah. used to walk around and say, This is kinda weird because we lived yeah. with him right away. Yeah. And uh I was like, what's weird? And they're like, we watch this movie yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our whole lives we've been like, playing this. Like, we love this. this movie. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. you're telling me that. And I'm here, and I'm dating him, and yeah. let's have some Jaeger. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we did. Yes, exactly. We would and, drink and... a bottle of Jaeger and, from Pink Dot. Yeah, yeah. That, those were the days those of, were of, the, of days, the Jaeger. Those were the Jaeger days. But, um, so, okay. So then when you were young, you got started in, 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 in acting through that. And then, um, did you continue going through it or did you do school? And then like, or how did that I did, work? Yeah. It was just like, uh, you know, I did the movie. I went back to eighth grade. Okay. Um, how, how did that change your life? Like that was strange. That yeah. was hard. It yeah. Was, it's hard enough to go to eighth grade. Right. You're just going to eighth grade, but then to like make a movie and you're kind of like, in this whole other world and it was fascinating to make a movie. I mean, my first time and I met so many incredible people and I definitely had it in me that I wanted to make some, I wasn't sure at that time it was gonna be my whole life acting, but I I definitely really loved it. And, And then I went back to eighth grade and sadly, you know, you get these jerky little girls who were really rude and really mean and, um, it just sucked. It was like I had to kind of like finish eighth grade, then I went to a whole different school and I met really cool people. And then that yeah. was, you know, but I was, I was still training, like I was still doing the singing and dancing. I wanted to be a musical theater star. I didn't want to, I didn't think about like acting or horror movies, let alone. Yeah. It was just like I want to be on stage in New York. And, um, so I auditioned a lot. Nothing really clicked for me then. Like I just did junior high and high school and yeah. then I decided to go to NYU to study at Tisch and really like learn drama. Yeah. And that's when I thought, wow, I'm, I love this it. This is it. This yeah. is it. And um, I did a lot of theater and then after that, slowly a lot of horror directors started calling me. It was like the internet and websites and where's Angela? And I'm like, what? Yeah. And I went to Fangoria um, weekend of horrors and I'd never we the sleepaway camp team the whole cast had never been seen before it was 2001 we were invited to Fangoria weekend of horrors at the big New Yorker hotel we thought maybe one or two people would come out and see us well we went on right after Friday the 13th it was standing room only it was wow. like thousands of people yeah we were like the, the director <laughs> and like 15 of the cast 15 members we were all there walked in and we were like holy shit people know this movie yeah yeah <laughs> and we signed autographs for like five hours afterwards. that's crazy and yeah that was the beginning really then i started making more horror movies yeah and so yeah that they, that is that's crazy that it just kind of took off it like was that. all and fangori just relaunched they're back yeah so. no and that that's so cool because i feel like then like like as you are known as a scream queen and like what is that like what does that entail like how do you get like that, that that title yeah that title <laughs> you know there's so many things that go around with that title that scream queen title and there are some amazing actresses out there who've really dedicated careers and have primarily been in horror movies um and i think that's really what it is i think 
for a long time, I was like, I'm not a scream queen. Like I did, I used to say I'm a scream princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Did, I only did sleep boy cam. I'm the scream dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what yeah, am yeah. I? And then that was like in the beginning. I did a documentary called um, Something to Scream About, and they kept asking me like, How do you feel being a scream queen? And that was like 14 years ago, and I thought I'm really not. I haven't made that many movies. And then slowly building up my resume and working with so many fantastic directors out there. Um, I, I feel really grateful for it. Yeah. Like I, it's, I don't know. I can't even explain it. Like it's, um, I love this genre dearly. I love everything about it. I love the people who support the movies. I love the people who make the movies, the most incredible, um, intelligent individuals who are like sort of immersed into this world of horror. And, um, I just feel very thankful for it. Yeah, no, that's cool. And uh, and then you happen to marry someone who is like the who biggest loves, fan of <laughs> Sarah's is like covered in movies, yeah, and all horror movies. And I learned a lot about horror from Darren. Yeah, you know, um, he showed me a lot of crazy movies and <laughs> taught me a lot about like you know what works, what doesn't, and and that helped because then like. Five years ago, I told him I wanted to produce, and so he went on Amazon. He bought me, I had little children then, and he bought me these three books. They were called, like, I want to produce, and I had to produce, and producing, you know, is, yeah. is what I want to do. And I read them, and then I started producing because I started talking to people. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, can I come help on your movie? And then slowly that evolved. So it was like, I love both aspects now. Yeah, and it's it's been cool to see that evolve over time, too, because I then went down to a couple yeah. of your sets where you're producing, and you're like, damn, she's like running this whole thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I did the Slayer <laughs> music video with you that you produced, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and that was amazing. And then I went on to another movie with you that had this you know huge <clears throat> crew that was, uh, I forget where it was, in Santa Monica or somewhere that was you were. Was it Death House? Yeah, I think okay, so. Cool. And uh, and but just seeing that whole thing take place, I'm like, man, she's like moving and shaking. It was fun. It <laughs> and was fun. yeah, and it's it's cool to see you kind of wearing that hat as well as doing you know still doing the acting and doing the producing and just watching you grow as an artist and do that. It's, it's cool that. to cool to witness that. Thank you. And uh, and I saw that you just got back from Spooky Con. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spooky Con. That was fun. You know, like. I feel as though my career is kind of split into different, well, I, I don't even know. It's like 50-50, acting and producing, and then the conventions. And, the, and people are like, wow, you do a lot of conventions. I do at least like two a month. And the reason I do it is because um, it's like, I used to almost have an at-home convention with Darren. He would tell yeah. me what he likes or what he doesn't <laughs> like, or, you know, let's go get these autographs. And I realized that's such a great, um, it's a great world because you get to connect and meet people because I'm a fan of the genre and they're a fan. So yeah. it's, it's beautiful to see what people think. I never use the word fan. I always say like friends. Yeah. I meet all these friends at these conventions and um, I get to hear their thoughts and what they love. And it's just, you know, it's a part of my, my work that I enjoy. Yeah, no, that's cool. And I feel like, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, like, you, like you said, just connecting with them while you're there and yeah. being able to see like what everyone loves. It, those are really fun. Like it's insane oh. how big conventions have gotten for holy crap, and know, how many there are. Yeah, I take off. I I leave for well, I go film next this week. I leave in a couple of days to do a film called A Nun's Curse, which is super cool because I play the villainous nun and the special effects people did Annabelle. Oh, nice. Yeah, and The Walking Dead. Like they had to fit Damn, my yeah. eyes and so. That's, That's cool. exciting to get into. Now I do more character work, huh? You know, now that I'm 195. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then I go to Chicago for a convention in Florida. Yeah. All in October. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's constant. cool. Yeah. You just did a movie, Killer Rose. Is that, Killer yeah. Rose. Yeah, that yes. looked red. I was watch. I was following along oh, on, on your Instagram. That, so. And that was fun because I started, I work with Entertainment Factory and they um, have been so supportive and amazing. Rick Finkelstein with my career, just mentoring me as a producer and giving me great roles. We also did Camp Twilight in April. But Killer Rose was um, something that, um, my co-producer, uh, Brandon Amalette, he was like, Hey, um, do you, what kind of movie would you want to do if you had like your dream movie? And I thought, I'd love to do sort of like a, a badass Thelma and Louise, like Reservoir Dogs, yeah. Rodriguez movie, like shoot them up, me and Caroline Williams in like the gear. And he's like, let's do it. 
And so we got Ricky Bird <laughs> to write awesome. it, and we it was like the next you know, a couple of months we were prepping. God, how nice that is. <laughs> like, what do you I want know. to do? Uh, I, I had it, some ideas. I know, and, I, and, and it sounds crazy because yeah. I, it's so weird to me that, that it happened that way. Yeah. We were getting ready to go to Camp Twilight. We filmed that in Florida, and that was a crazy teen slasher, which is coming out soon. And then we went right into Killer Rose, and it was like, whoa, whoa, you know, yeah. all this that's great fun, stuff. That's fun, man. Yeah. yeah, and I, I, like I said, I saw some of the photos, and you look like a badass, it, it so was, it was. My kids were like, you look like a Fortnite character, because <laughs> I had, like, the, you know, all oh, the yeah. gear on and the big, like, oh, yeah. you know, well, you're winning. pants. And... <laughs> you're winning with all the kids, because Fortnite is the, uh, uh, is the game. Is, is yeah. it right that's now. That's what we are for Halloween this year, <laughs> Fortnite characters. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, ha- Halloween's yeah. coming up. Coming up. Yeah, and they, uh, they have another, I guess, Halloween movie coming yes yeah yeah <gasps> the new installment is yeah coming. it looks pretty I know, awesome Darren has been watching every little clip they put out there every trailer <laughs> every clip and all I hear is it on like a loop and I'll come out of the bedroom like two in the morning what are you doing he's like I figured it out I figured it out <laughs> I'm like, okay yeah. he's like Okay. Okay, this is what's happening. I'm like, dude, relax. He's so immersed in he it. Yeah. So, That's yeah. cool. That is his life. Oh, I know. I, oh, true. I know. I've sat you with know. him many a time and, <laughs> and watched like Pieces and yeah. Snow Beast and Don't Go to the Woods. Don't Go to the and, yeah. Woods. Yeah. We've all had to sit through and we love it. Like, it is. Because he like sees it in this different way and shows us how does. to see it he in does. that way, which yeah. is, which is really it's fun. It's so great. Yeah, no, and that's cool. So, um, so you have a movie that's about to happen. You have a couple that are coming yeah, out. That are coming out. Um, and then any more conventions that you're? I do. I have a lot more conventions. Um, yeah. That are coming up, and I put everything on my Facebook because sometimes the conventions don't announce them. I know I'm going, but they haven't announced. Them, oh so. yeah. I'll be at, um, in Chicago at the Wheaton uh, Haunted Market on October nineteenth. I don't know when this is gonna show. Yeah. And then I'm going to be at Spooky Empire, which is like one of the big conventions in Florida that I've never been to. I've never been to Florida for a convention. And I'm going to be with, you ready for this? For the first time, Judy and Meg from Sleepaway Camp. I haven't seen Meg for 35 years. I saw Karen a year ago, but... So it's going to be the three ladies from Sleepaway Camp at Spooky Empire. Oh, that's awesome. For the awesome. first time. And yeah. we're doing a photo op in our Camp Arawak shirts and our short shorts. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. I can't wait. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds exciting. And where, wait, where is that at? That's in Orlando, Florida. Okay, that's cool. That's October 26, 27, 28. Nice. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, that's cool. I love Florida. I love the girls. It's going to be great. Yeah. That, that's cool. So, um, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's it, really it's always awesome sitting down and talking with you. And, uh, for having me. yeah, and I was thinking, so hot dog casserole, you, <gasps> you helped me out with that. that. Was, <laughs> that was, how much fun did we have? <laughs> it was fun. It I, was so I, fun. I always say it was a piece of shit because I didn't know how to freaking make I movies. I thought it was but, fantastic. And, and I always thought like that. I, I was like, uh, but because, you know, it's hard to watch, especially when you're like, it was the first time I was ever trying to learn how to direct something, produce yeah, something, whatever. Cool. And you did a great uh, job. But it was so nice of you and and Darren to come out and do a part. I mean, you had a bigger part than him, but but he his part was funny too because he's in the house yeah. where he's like cutting people up. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, but just to have you come out and do that was was so fun and uh, and and I always appreciate that. And we'll have to do more because Let's do more. I have plenty of ideas and want to get back into kind of do doing it. that stuff. We yeah. need to go back to like the old fun yeah passionate you know yeah because that's what it's been like and i was i was talking with darren about it too is that like just getting back to the fun of of enjoying it rather than it being a job and we have to do it yeah right i mean not that you have to do anything but yeah it's nice to like come up with your own stuff and be yeah. with friends. Yeah. You know? and, and working on all that stuff. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know. So awesome sitting and chatting with yeah. you. And thanks for coming on the Bathroom Break Podcast. Thanks for having me on the Bathroom <laughs> yeah. Break Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we had a good shit story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did. And, and it worked out naturally. <laughs> and it all worked out. Yeah, yes. We should bring her down now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's down. embarrass you a little more, dude. Okay. Yeah, she's a that teenager. Everybody yeah. shit up my neck. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you tell the cute the boy that she's. Uh, she know. has a boyfriend. Oh. He's gonna see this. Yeah, so we'll tell him. <laughs> embarrass her that way. Isn't it fun to be a parent and be able to just embarrass your kids? Oh, it's, <laughs> just, it's awesome. I do yeah. it every day. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Oh, well, thanks well, thanks. Me. Yeah. yeah awesome. Thanks so much. <laughs>